Hey guys, and welcome back to Landstriders Futures Edge server, graciously hosted by Aim to Game servers, where uh, Joe jo Leah here has got herself into a little bit of trouble. So I think we're going to try and break her out of here. I'm not entirely sure what happened. There we go, immediately off on the run again. Yeah, you just want to muck around in the pool, do you? It's ridiculous. You know, we, we really do have business to get going with. If you could, like, you know, be a little bit more serious about what's going on. Ah, oh, look at that. If you could be a little bit more serious about what's going on. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just, I'm just going to leave that little hole there. It was fighting against me. I'll get around to fixing it at some point. You can see the board of bountiful bee breeding has been uh, scrapped or ripped down. That's because we got everything we want. You can see these clays are now quite nicely ticking over. I took them back over to the marsh and bred them with uh what was it rocky drones until they could survive they still need sky access unfortunately so that's something we need to deal with so we've got clay we've got dirt and all the way over here you can see that we've got common drones going ah oh, that rocky coat ah i keep trying to uh breed this into a common i keep getting the common strain come back but wow it it's hard to keep that pure pure bread on the go oh yeah i said i'll fix it later i said it will fix it later okay let's go have a look down the bottom you can see, no, oh, hey, we've got loads of cows have broken out. So the thing I've been doing with the cow, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Something's blown up here. Something has blown up here. We will come back for the cows at some point. Oh, man, when did that happen? So what I'm imagining is something got out of here. Oh, look at this. Who left the door white? Oh, man, there's a massive hole here and everything. Something bad has happened here. Something bad has happened here. But this is something else we're going to have to get onto. This may have even changed my plans for today's episode. But my actual plan for today, if we come down to the maintenance area. Now, you guys have seen this maintenance area before. Don't. Uh, I've done a little bit of rewiring because down here we've got some special things on the go. First off, I've opened the whole area up. Oh man, it's freezy. Um, I've made a cobble gen over there. That's why this guy keeps appearing. I'm going to have to try and do something about it. Am I going to be able to hit him without hitting the roof? I don't know. I don't know. That may have been a little high. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, we're going to have to hand to hand it. Oh, I can't reach him. Stop flying around. It's not very nice. It's not very nice. So I've got this great big open area here. And I've been kind of mucking around with ideas for walls here. I've got to say, um, I think the uh, sandstone here may be a little bit a little bit nice for what I had in mind down here. But it, it's kind of, it works. It works. The floor kind of works. The wall kind of works. I'm not sure about the ceiling. But, you know, given what we're looking at up there, I'm not sure how much better we're going to be able to do. But what I would like to do is go around and uh, decorate all this up.
So we're back at spawn and this is still such an epic build. So high up that I cannot see the floor. So let's jump this way, shall we? Are we going to make it? We're not. So let's go like this. Little bit of a fly. But over there, look. There's a nice... Oh, I'm glad that caught me before I hit the floor properly. There's a nice little uh, little snowy path on the go over here. And it leads somewhere. Let's, let's go and follow it. Let's go follow. There's a great big spruce tree i mean that is amazing whoever built that that's that's some scale right there but there's a little christmas village on the go over here which for starters i think we need to come and add to i've got i've got a few ideas on the go maybe something for up there but we're here for something specific and let's go and have a look at it over here secret santa button press one press once only return your name if you get it so i got ooh. Ooh. Now, I'm probably going to blur that because I don't want to ruin this before, you know, before the Secret Santa actually drops. I just wanted to show you guys that I was coming over here to do this. Uh, and yeah, I'm part of the Secret Santa, guys. Hold tight. Probably next episode. Uh, we won't be working on it today, but next episode, definitely the one. So the keen-eyed among you would have noticed that I have got myself... 40 levels in my in my experience bar. Is that what we call it? Is that an experience bar? Because I want to make myself... Oh, no. Not in there. We're going to use that, but I want to make myself some, some things with these. The solarium and the energetic alloy. Now, solarium, for those of you that don't... What? Oh, when you press R, it rearranges your inventory. Of course. I really got to set that up. Uh, when you put... Soul Sand and Gold Ingots together, you get the Solarium. And the Energetic Alloy we have encountered quite a few times before. Now, we're using this to make ourselves some experience rods. Now, these do actually go into making, like, the XP Vacuum and the Experience Obelisk and things that collect experience for you. But I'm not going to be using that today. Not, not like that. Oh, no, no, no. Hopefully, we've got enough Lapis to go through at least uh, two or three of these because that's what I want to do to start with. So, we're going to get the first one. This is for my sword, obviously, why would it not be for my sword? The second one, of course, is for Mr. Works It because he's my like main workhorse. I've already had to repair him three times, four times since I put him together, uh, which is starting to get a little bit expensive. I mean, I had to spend ooh, something like six entire XP points on it last time. That That's getting beyond a joke. Let's just grab ourselves a whole load of lapis. I've got loads and loads of it. Thankfully, the, sh the fish that kind of spawn out in the, in the river, they provide me lots and lots of lapis. Oh, but I don't have the XP. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's put the one on our sword. Or do I want to put it onto my pick? I've only repaired the sword once before, but I've repaired the pick like three or four times. So let's do the pick, shall we? This is probably going to start getting expensive. No, it's okay. Cool. So I'm going to go spend some more time at some XP grinders before coming back and putting these on all of my stuff. And then I actually want to work on an industrial apiary. Because I think we're finally at the point where we can start talking about that sort of stuff. So guys, the industrial apiary shouldn't be too much of an issue. The only item that we haven't seen how to craft is indeed this one that I'm in the middle of crafting. And I forgot to make little pressure plates here. So they need to go down there. These around the middle. I presume the glass pane is where you're supposed to keep your bee. Because this is the bee receptacle. Uh, then, just a simple clickety-click should get us making the industrial apiary. Now, literally everything here we know how to make already. Now, what don't I have? I don't didn't bring myself enough glass. One, two, three, four. Let's just quickly get this made again. Yeah, that's two industrial apiaries. We also got ourselves a quest finished with that. I forgot this would be a side effect of doing this. But of course, we've got the desert emulation or the jungle emulation. I don't think either of those are what I want, to be honest. I was kind of looking for a wet or marshy emulation, something like that. I'm going to keep hold of these until I decide that I need one of them. Hopefully, I will be able to remember. Now, what are we going to do with these? Now, you remember up top, we've got clay and dirt. Well, the dirt is the one that I want to bring over to this area here. You can see that we've got power and items running up the side, and I kind of feel like I would like to attach this. Do I want to put it here or up top? I mean, I can go and get more power easy enough, but just for demonstrational purposes, I think we'll put it down there. I've made two when actually I think all I wanted to do was make one. Let's go and get a few extra things. Huh? Where, where's, where's my queen gone? Uh, what? My dirty queen has up and disappeared. How? Where, where would it have gone? 
Oh, oh, this is bad, guys. This is very. Where, where is it? Oh man, it stole my queen. I don't. I just don't know where it's gone. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this or anything. I what? Why would it steal my queen? How would it steal my queen? If anybody knows anything about that, do let me know because I'm now going to have to spend forever trying to breed that one back up. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I went and found myself a Meadows Queen kind of all the way over there. Let's show you on... Ah, oh, I can't see it when I'm underneath the roof. Let's show you on the map, though, because that does kind of give a little bit of grounding as to what's going on. I flew all the way... Uh, I didn't go around that way. I only flew up to about here uh, before I found a Meadows Queen. Might have even been here. No, I, cro I definitely crossed this bit of water uh, and stole the Meadows Queen. And now I've just kind of put her in here with all the dirty drones and hopefully this will just end up overwriting because that's the way bees work right let me show you what i actually want to do with this girl did i just throw something on the floor i think i did but i have no idea what it is i kind of hit q as i took off it all looks good though it all looks good though uh over here you can see there's another machine just kind of popped up man the spring back on the flying uh, hey esk Always nice to see Esk. Uh, so in here, you can see that I've hooked up another machine. This is, of course, the centrifuge. I've taken all the dirt comb uh, from that uh, apiary up there, popped it in the centrifuge, and it should be making dirt. Now in here, if we set this to... I don't just want it insert. I want it in out. Uh, and we extract active without signal. Has this not been putting out? Because it should come out from there go down and then via the medium of this law <laughs> caps love um it should make its way back into the hatch now i'm thinking it's because yeah look at this it just kind of stops there okay we can deal with this give me a second Okay, so we're going to put an item delivery on there, and then we need to do a little bit of mucking around with this hatch here. So other than just in extract, we want it to have an in-out. Okay, uh, let's yeah, now leave it on a fairly high priority and extract with no thing. Okay, that's cool. So we should have more dirt pulling in here. It doesn't look like that is a thing that is going on. Uh, let's first start by disabling this. Okay, so the dirt has left this place. It must have just been short of making an entire stack. Uh, how... Oh, oh, did I just watch that go up from 54? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. If we hang around. That first stack was on 54. Let's watch this kind of fill in here if we can. This should be speeding up. We're going to end up with an excess of wax. I wonder if we can use that to produce power uh, in any way. I'm not sure. I'm going to sit here until I see some dirt get produced and just make sure. There we go. Okay, so it went and it disappeared. So I assume it then goes over this way. Yeah, to do this. This is all good. 55. All right, brilliant. Awesome. We have set up uh, continual dirt system as soon as those dirty bees got let's, let's go and have a quick look I was just about to uh, make a cut you could tell by the way that I trailed off my voice a little bit uh, but we're gonna have a look in here no it's still going it's still going so I will see you guys when this is sorted Okay, so we're getting close to having a purebred dirty queen. You can see that she keeps kicking out some of these not purebred. So what I've been doing is taking these out, running over thuswards and throwing them over the edge. I don't know how many we got down there now. It, we're getting a small collection up and running, but as soon as they... As that is done. I will move this over to the apiary over there. But my next quest is both, well, is both a quest and a problem solver. If we mic our way down the bottom here, I've got this space and I kind of have this vision where I walk down the stairs here and then I kind of offload my mining backpack into a chest that I have on this side. I would then want it, the items to go through a crusher, through a sag mill and onto a furnace. Now, what's a crusher, you ask? That's a very good question because we have not exposed you to this so far. The crusher is a multi-block stru multi structure. Man, that's a little bit hard to say when you're coming at it first time. Uh, that you build from immersive engineering. And you can see it involves all sorts of weird blocks. We've got some light engineering blocks there, some steel scaffold, a redstone block, some steel fencing. But... <clears throat> We're going to come in here and start working stuff through this work table. You can see we've got the light engineering block. And most of this looks re relatively reasonable to make. But let's start clicking through this microchip. So we click on the microchip. So that, that makes some tier 2. So you'd expect to find some tier 1s in there. That's fair enough. And in here we have some transistors. Okay, fair enough. We do expect transistors. And finally, 
we're down at the point where we can actually make some transistors. So let's start by making some iron nuggets. Um, I'm going to make a small stack of those. I don't know how many we're actually going to end up needing. I'm then going to replace it with gold, make a small stack of those. So now if we clear this out, we should be able to do iron across the top, I believe. Uh, it was paper in the middle. Was it redstone underneath with gold either side? I cannot remember. Yes, that, that's it. Transistors. Pa Pow! Look, we made ourselves an achievement. That's nice. That's brilliant. Okay, the next thing we wanted to do, of course, was make the tier one transistor, which I believe takes quartz and lapis, two things that I don't have. Oh, look, basic circuit has been completed. Should we check that out? Let's go and have a look. Quest. It's in the computations bit. Look, there we go. Basic circuit. Straight away. Boom. In with it. We can get grog, quarter heart, or we can get the open computers manual, which I think is probably... Oh, no, we're going to get all of those anyway. Ah, oh, great. So we can get an EEPR on... Which is kind of one of the things that I reckon we're going to need. The tier 2 microchip, nah, we can, we can make that easily. This, though, is super important for almost every machine. It's kind of like the BIOS drive, if you will. Um, not every machine, every computer we're going to make from this point on. Uh, so let's claim that. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't click claim. I hit done. Oh, man, the way this is set up, just use a little bit of tweaking. Just a little bit of tweaking. Okay, cool. That, that's good. Um, we're going to go get ourselves some quartz and lapis. Okay, I jumped the gun a little bit on that, I think. What we need to do now is put... Oh, I've, I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten exactly what it is I wanted to do here. Okay, let's go back in. Microchip. This is the one I thought we were on, but we're not on that yet. No, we need to make this, which is iron in the corners, gold in the middle, and transistors either side. Now, I'm wondering whether I want to make lots. Do I just burn through all these transistors? I might do it. What I'm going to do is lock this. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I want to lock that in place so there is something that I can come back to at any time. I've got a few work tables scattered around with various uh, recipe sets in them. There we go, microchips, brilliant. Once again, I'm going to lock that in place as well. Look, all the small things, achievement, yeah, doing well. Okay, so these two went either side. Quartz in the middle, was it lapis top and bottom with nugs around the outside? I think that was it. Oh, no, I was wrong. Where was I wrong? Gold nugs. Gold nugs. Oh, well. We, we are learning. Every day we learn something new. Uh, okay, so put these around the outside and we should should get some tier 2 microchips. A little bit of lag there made me think I hadn't come out properly. I was like, oh no, what? why isn't this a thing? Uh, okay, so we got all the way up to type microchips tier 2, which is what we want here. Okay, so what's the next thing we want? This iron uh, mechanical component. I didn't bring any copper. There's going to be a lot of this in this one. Which is good because copper is one of the things that I'm really starting to run out of. So if we could like start grinding up the copper ore, which I also don't have a great deal of. Let's see if I can get a stack. Look, I don't even have a stack of copper. Let's get um, 16 should do it, right? Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll grab 17. Okay, so that's the iron mechanical component. I believe we need a couple of those, so let's do that and lock this in place as well. The iron rod, uh, nice and simple. I don't think we're actually going to need to lock this in place because I just know that it happens to be this. I'm going to get uh, four of those. Are we actually... Ah, oh, bronze gears are the thing we're missing, which needs basic gears. Now, basic gears, I was saying that I had these workbenches set up uh, with recipes all over the place basic gears is one of the ones that i've got set up around here if we have a look see there it is basic gear we are missing we've got some treated sticks we got oh, we should have everything it's the iron no even that i've got so let's just do a shift click five mm -mm. we're gonna need more than that i think we are gonna need more than that but i'll take these first six and we'll see what we can do with it Okay, six bronze gears. That should be good. Are we missing anything else? I don't think we are. Can we click that in? Light engineering block. Now, this should be a quest finished. Could I only get one out? What am I missing now? There's more mechanical uh, bits and stuff like that. Light machinery complete. That, this is the one I was working towards, actually. Uh, no, tech tree. There we go. Light machinery. And hopefully... Oh, no, it doesn't give us an option to get lots more of these. I was uh, kind of hoping for that. I will grab some conveyor belts, though. Yeah, I'm going to grab some conveyor belts. I was thinking about maybe getting the steel, but no, no, we'll get that. Okay, so that is the one of the things we need to do. If we have a look in the engineer's manual, we need so these light engineering blocks, steel scaffold as well. Let's have a look and see how we make the steel scaffold. This is all of the immersive engineering stuff here, so we should be able to find, yeah, steel rods and steel ingots. Now, thankfully, steel is kept just up top. Did I bring any down with me? I didn't. When I say just up top, I literally mean... 
Oh, I moved it. Uh -huh. Stack and a quarter of steel already made. We're going to have to get the coke oven and the blast furnace back down. But I want to get this crusher sorted first. I want the crusher to go here. I'm even thinking of moving the blast furnace over this side. Also, quickly, you guys might have noticed this gaping hole in the middle of the floor pattern here. I'm trying to decide whether I want to put a pattern across the middle or just have it as a drop shaft down to bedrock. Because, you know, obviously this tower is going to go all the way down and all the way up. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe... Let, let, we'll talk about it. Let, leave me a comment. Do you guys think that, sh that should be covered or should it just be a hole all the way down to the nether regions below? Oh, there's not actually any nether regions below. There is um, just depth. Just depth. Okay, so that's some steel rods. Here are some steel scaffolding. Okay, this is nice. We'll grab a few of those. I'm not sure exactly how many we need, but that will probably do us. The Another thing we need is the steel fence. That's aluminium. Pow! That's made us 12 fences. We're going to have to make so many of these light engineering blocks. Uh, let, let's quickly have a look here. How many do we actually need? 10 of them. 10 of them. Okay, let's try and do that. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, what am I short of? I'm short of a few iron rods. Okay, we just need 4 more of these and then that should be all 10 of these completed okay we've got those the next thing we need is a redstone block now let's go in and have a look at how to make this so the redstone engineering block looks relatively simple we should be able to just pop that in nice and quick i am of course out of iron <laughs> Thankfully, I prepared for this and made loads of iron just up here. So this should be a very quick jump over here to make this redstone engineering block. So that's a few of those. No, <laughs> I see what I did. I put it into the wrong place there. And the next thing is hoppers, which I'm just going to do a jump cut. Okay, and that makes everything we need to make to build the crusher. Now, how does this get laid down? I don't know, it's very awkward. Look at this, uh, it shows us a nice diagram for laying it all out. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to bring you guys through the adventure of laying this down. But I've got a feeling I'm going to be in and out of this book a lot. So uh, let's try it, shall we? But more importantly, I want to see where the input was. So let's stop that. Looks like the input may be at this block here. No, that's power, right? That's power. I'm going to try and build it with the base facing this way I think let's go uh, one two three and then there's another three of those on top now I believe it was two of those let's have a look back inside the book uh, let's press play of course um, if it could just play that for me that would be great so small tip for you guys if you press stop you've got to press stop again to make it work what is this why can't you not just press play okay so it's these two here then I believe it was two of these like this and then another line of scaffold of uh, engineering blocks that feels like far too many far far too many let's let's have a look again yeah no this was right and then we put down a whole load of scaffolding down this side we then have a redstone engineering block about here i think or is this three blocks high let's double check no that was definitely the two block height so we've done that side we've done those layers let's just let it, let it play through so fencing between the redstone block and engineering block an engineering block in the middle man okay so we want that one there and this one here loads of fencing all the way down here here and here let's check the book again I'm sure there's a way of having finer control over the uh, the display of this process. So fence goes around as a square and then hoppers all across the top. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. That's, that's relatively simple. So that's like that. And then hoppers just want to go in like this. Now, I need my engineer's hammer, which of course, as seems to be the theme for this last couple of minutes of video, I have forgotten and left upstairs. Okay, so it says you form the machine by right-clicking on this one. No, that's that, that's a torch. That's no good to me. Right-click. No? Okay, let's try on the other side. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Ah, oh, have I built this wrong? Oh, I hope... Oh, there we go. Okay, redstone control. Not inverted. Inverted. I'm not sure which way around we're doing it. So it actually classes this as the front of the machine. Is that what I'm reading here? Okay, so where does it output from? I'm not entirely sure. Let's get some... Uh, some uh, or and see what we can do with it. Oh, I'm going to need to uh, provide power as well, aren't I? Okay, temporary wiring is exceedingly temporary, so we're going to try and figure out a better way of doing this. But for now, that will do. I've got a single bit of copper ore. Now, I assume 
it gets thrown in up there. Oh, no, that was a that was a bad placement because I can't put it in there. I can't put it in there, so it's got to go thrown in up here. I assume. Yeah, look at this crushing uh, apparatus there. Did it go anywhere? Did it not? It's disappeared out of my inventory. I wish this had a UI. I really, really wish this had a UI. I don't see anywhere of things going in and out. So let's try hitting the. Oh, I left my hammer away. Okay, maybe we put the power in the wrong place. Maybe we put the power in the, because that's actually a redstone signal, right? So what I'm thinking is the power. Oh, oh, oh! We got a, got a little jumpy spot there. What I'm thinking is the power probably actually wants to go into this bit over here, which is uh, massively inconvenient, but we will figure out a way. How can we hook up to the relays from here? Alright, it's massively hacksy, but that sort of wire will do. Yeah, I thought it would fall out of the front here. Now, the next thing I really... Are you going to give it to me? You're not going to give it to me. The next thing I want to know is whether we can get this sag mill just being led here. If I throw one of these back here, will it go into the sag mill automatically? I'm kind of hoping so. Yes. At which point we'll have this ground down a little bit more. Only one of them went in, though. I wonder why that was. Because we got some gold grit. So what we're going to actually have to do is put an inventory in between the two. This is easy enough, though, when you have a whole load of chests just in one of your uh, craft benches here. That's good. So if we put this down here, that should now show us what's going on. I'm not sure whether this will output to it. Uh, let's try it. Yes, cool. So if we then take the sag mill and pop it, let's pop it on this side uh, because, well, mainly we need to try and get at that um, power connector over there. I mean, maybe we can do it better from the front. I'm not sure. But let's do that and then we'll do a uh, pull from the back. There we go. And let's go get some more power. Man, it's going to end up being a choppy episode, but I think we're getting there. We've got the copper grit being uh, powdered down into copper powder. That has turned one bit of ore into four bits of powder. So that is amazing. Oh, we only got the one bit out. I know what's wrong here. I know what's wrong here. We need to take a few of... Well, let's start with the slates. Um, because I pick up these slates like a ridiculous amount. When we get some more dark iron, we'll uh, make use of that. But for now, let's throw all this in here. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this weird-ass adventure. We went round and made a whole load of beautification to the tower. Got ourselves all this area cleared out nicely. We've got ourselves some ore tripling, potentially quadrupling going on here. So this is all good. But yeah, I will see you next time when we're going to do things like try and get all the way down to bedrock or at least put ourselves down another layer. We're going to tidy up this little bit here and I also want to try and make my work, uh, try and make another machine that will make capacitors, conductive iron uh, and all the random ender IO stuff. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Take my helmet off so you can see my beautiful face. Bye! Oh, look at that punch. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs>